New, new Joe Biden had made an appearance sans the ball chins. I'm not really sure what happened to those. Looking lost as ever. It's fine. It's probably fine. He's carrying the nuclear codes, but it's probably fine. Speech. Kind of. Mary Trump was there. <sighs> That's all I got to say about that. Hillary Clinton showed up. One of the Hillary Clintons. I don't know. I don't know. Parked free vasectomies and abortions truck outside the DNC where people could sign up to get free vasectomies and abortion pills. Jolly Good Ginger had showed up to the DNC to drive that point, I'm assuming about abortions home, with Charlie Kirk, who got in, I'm not really sure, but then walked around and was doing content. <laughs> He never did let him answer. Paul Harris had sent notification to the Trump campaign that she will not be doing the Fox News debate. As far as it sits right now, as debate-wise, it looks like there's only going to be one presidential debate and one VP debate, but don't quote me on that. A different article saying a lot of different things from one to two, but there would definitely will not be a Fox News debate. Trump, The Trump campaign is going to do a town hall instead that night with... Hannity. There was a lot of debate about how many people were actually at the DNC. There's still a lot of discussion going on around that. Uh, Ed Krasistan from X posted this picture, uh, calling out everybody that's saying that the DNC is empty, calling them all fools. This place is rock, and they're afraid to admit that. The problem is, the picture that he posted was from a Metallica concert, straight from their stories. Rumors going around that Kamala Harris had been drinking during the entire thing. Uh, she had given up and given a speech and sounded very off off even for her i don't have the clip but you can go find it and it's probably fine it's probably going to be fine totally legit probably going to be a completely fair and free election probably maybe i'm just ready to get this all over with like i'm ready for it to be november so we can find out what's going to happen and then we can make a plan and and go on I'm, I'm tired of of a lot of this i'm tired of a lot of it especially from the democratic side because a lot of this stuff that they're putting out is being debunked like with ed krasistan Kassistan, Krasistan. There was also a wall that was built around the DNC building where they were having the convention, but that wall had been infiltrated by the protesters who then were pushed back by the police. But as far as I know, there are still thousands of protesters outside the building. It is in my not super expert opinion that you're seeing kind of the fall of everything right now. You're seeing everything just kind of come down. I don't know what's going to happen. I can only hope for the best and that's what I'm doing. I'm hoping for the best and preparing for the worst at the same time. While I had come out, part of their economic plan was to put caps on what like companies could charge in the stores. The problem with that is then the federal government controls the caps. So the federal government controls, can control how much you buy. And that, that never worked. That never worked in any country that they've ever done that in. It's it's going to be real bad if they get in and the people that need to see it won't see it because they're so ingrained in the hype and the and the the the, the popularity of the whole thing. And the best thing you know we can do is we can do our best. We can go vote and we can hope for the best, but but plan for the worst. I'm hoping we're at the end of this, but in the off chance that we're not, get on the right side of things. Do the best you can, and uh, we just we just keep going.